Hello everyone. So <clears throat> it is still reading Rainbow Friday. And I have got what I wanted to get that. I got this from Amazon, I think. Um so I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, this whole uh, deck. They're postcards. Um, I'm just gonna go through. Let's let's just do three. I'm kind of low energy right now, so we're gonna do three of them. And um, I also have the book, so the book has more detail, which I recommend buying. Um, let's see what happens. <coughs> I have allergies. Don't worry. Too big for my hands. Bada bing, bada bing. So these are the women in science. So let's see who we have. We have Edith Clark, electrical engineer. That's a good job. You make a lot of money with that. Um, and there's a quote. There's nothing else. Uh, just the art. It's a postcard, actually. I'm not going to use these to send to anyone. Um, I just, I really like them. Uh, there's no demand for women engineers, as such as there are for women doctors. But there's always a demand for anyone who can do a good piece of work. And that's her quote, Edith Clark. So if you can do work, good work, there will be demand for you regardless of what degree or what you study. That's a good quote. I like it. <clears throat> the next lady is Alice Ball. She's a chemist. And she had to do something with lemons. So there's, a lot of lemon. <laughs> there's a lot of lemons here. Um, let's read her quote. Men dominated higher education in 1915, and Alice Ball was admitted against the odds. This is from Miles Jackson, not from her. Uh, Miles Jackson is University of Hawaii professor and dean emeritus. So, unfortunately for her, well, no, she she got a minute, so she she got to go to school. And oh, look, there's little quotes that I didn't see because I don't have my glasses. She's the first of African American and first woman to graduate from the University of Hawaii. That's nice. Invented the ball method. I don't know what that is, and I'm going to look it up, and I'm going to write it on this card. Helped to cure leprosy with her chemical treatment, which probably involved lemons. That's really smart. What a smart lady. Uh, chemistry is not. I failed chemistry. and Maybe I can do, do it again, you know, but ooh, chemistry was so hard for me. So yeah, like that's that's pretty cool. Let me read either Eva Clark's quotes because um you know she deserves attention too. Invented a graphical calculator to help solve equations involving hyperbolic functions. The graphic calculator, we use it. Created some of the first software for electrical engineering. Oh snap, girl, she made the software. Mm -hmm. First female electrical engineer. That's how you do it. Alright, last one. Emmy Noether. I uh, hope I said her name right. She's a mathematician and theoretical physicist. Let's see, let's see. Let's show you the card. She loves math. I like math too, but I have a learning disability, so it's a little harder. Sorry for the glare. For me to learn math. Um, but that doesn't stop me. You know, I have the little android to help me. My methods are really methods of working and thinking. This is why they have crept into every, everywhere anonymously. I mean, no third. And it says, created the field of abstract, abstract algebra. I can't speak. Um, the Noether theory connects mathematical symmetry to the conservation of energy. Ooh, girl. That's complicated. Consider one of the most important people in the field of math mathematics. So I find that really interesting. Uh, why haven't I heard of her before? Um, I have a public education, and no math teacher has mentioned her. Huh. 
I find that really interesting. So now you know about her. I mean, she started the men. I'm sure she was a great teacher too. She has a dreidel. No, she has a top. It's been top. That's interesting. Yeah, she she would be a fun person to learn that from. So yeah, that's this uh, woman in science deck. It's it's I call it a deck. Whatever. It's postcards, but um, you know it's it's pretty nice. I I recommend buying and supporting this artist. I love I love her stuff. And she doesn't have the women in art, you know, as a as postcards. I wish she did. Maybe I'll commission her to make them. Shouldn't be that expensive. So let me show you what else I got for next the Friday to come because we're doing so many things. Um, I got the woman in art because I'm an artist. I had to get it. I had to get it. Sorry. And I got women in science because, you know, like, science is important. Science and art, I think they're the same, you know. It's all creation. It's all experimentation. Ooh, we're going to read about women in art. And, oops, sorry, women in art and women in science. And for those of you who are like, where are the men? Well, you already learned about men for centuries, okay? We learned about men for since we've been born, and I think it's time for women to uh, have some examples in their life. Children, uh, for those of you that are boys, there's nothing wrong with looking up to a woman. Uh, women are very strong. We're very strong, we're very smart, and um, we're very kind. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying that men are useless. I'm not saying that men are not useless. Um, we work together. I don't know what I tried to do. Together, we work really well. Um, you know, as an equal partnership, um, we can make amazing things. So yeah, like that is. I think this is one of the best purchases I've ever made, and I think it was like twenty bucks, maybe less. Um, I hope you learned something today. Um, you will see more videos today because it's Friday and I get to do whatever I want so you will see more videos um please enjoy the beautiful art created by this wonderful artist um Rachel Ignostri Ignostri she's Russian maybe so yeah she um she makes these beautiful art beautiful books for kids and uh, I hope you guys learned something. That's the most important thing uh, for this channel is that you learn something new. Bye!